Well, hello, this is Kelly and I'm the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to the next video series where we talk about sizing high pressure gas lines. In this first video, we're going to discuss the fundamentals of high pressure gas line sizing for natural gas and propane. All code references will be made from the B149.1 Natural Gas and Propane Installation Code of Canada and that is the 2015 edition. Now before we go any further, you're going to need to be familiar with the process for low pressure gas line sizing. If you don't know how to do that, I have a little video series on that called Low Pressure Gas Line Sizing. Links are in the description below. So to better understand the process, we need to understand some key differences between low pressure and high pressure gas line sizing. The first and most obvious difference is the pressures. But let's define high pressure. High pressure is anything above 2 psi gas. So 7 inches of water column to 2 psi is considered low pressure gas, anything above high pressure. Now the next difference comes into how we factor in for fittings in the gas line for high pressure compared to low pressure. Low pressure table A2 says maximum capacity of natural gas in thousands of BTUs for SCED 40 pipe and plastic pipe, including fittings. So all the low pressure gas tables include fittings. But let's go to the first high pressure gas line sizing table, table A5. Maximum capacity of natural gas in thousands of BTUs per hour for SCED 40 pipe and plastic pipe for pressures of 5 psi based on a pressure drop of 2.5 psi. Notice how that didn't mention anything to do with including fittings. High pressure gas line sizing tables do not include fittings. So we have to do an extra step to factor in for them. Now, much like the low pressure gas line sizing tables, there is a metric equivalent, and that will be the table that's called concluded. In this case, table A5 concluded. Maximum capacity of natural gas in kilowatts for SCED 40 pipe and plastic pipe for pressures of 34 kPa based on a pressure drop of 17 kPa. Notice that the length of pipe is in meters. The nominal pipe size is still in inches, but all the values in the table there are kilowatts. Well, let's take a quick look at the other remaining tables. We have table A6, which is for 10 psi gas with a 5 psi pressure drop. And our highest pressure is table A7 with 20 psi gas with a 10 psi pressure drop. Now we also have table A12, A13, and A14, which are 5 psi, 10 psi, and 20 psi respectively, but specifically for sizing copper tubing, which we don't do very often anymore. Now, if you turn a little bit further into your gas code, you're going to come across the B tables. Table B3 is the first high pressure gas line sizing table for propane. The tables are different. Make sure you're in the right tables, but they're laid out all the same way as all the natural gas ones we just went through. And now the last table, table A16, resistance of bends, fittings, and valves for natural gas and propane expressed in equivalent length of straight pipe in feet. This is the table we'll need to use to factor in for our fittings. So let's go for an example of a 1 inch 90. So I come down to the nominal pipe size of 1 inch across to the right to meet up with a 90 degree elbow. Now this gives me a number of 2.62. Now what this means is running gas through this 1 inch 90 is the equivalent of running gas through a 2.62 foot long piece of straight pipe. That will be the resistance that is experienced from it. Now we call these numbers equivalent length, and we will need to factor that into the longest measured run, but that will happen in the next video. Now there's a metric equivalent for this table and it's called A16 concluded, and everything is measured in meters and millimeters for this one. Well, that brings us to the end of this video and stay tuned for the next high pressure gas line sizing video where we take everything we've learned here and apply it to a high pressure gas line sizing example. And until then, you have yourself a wonderful day.